Hey everybody, what is up? It is Shaloa Bone here today with my first makeup tutorial on the channel. I might do vlogs, but I'm not sure yet, just because uh, this is my first video. But so far, tutorials. If you find it entertaining, keep watching. And uh, I already did my primer, uh, which is Too Faced Poreless or Primed Poreless uh, Primer. And that's just what I have, that's why I use it. Um, because uh, I'm, I'm broke, number one. Number two, my friend gave it to me and she had never used it, so there's that. And now I'm trying to work on foundation, but I'm almost out, so see how that goes. Uh, it's Cover Go Clean in shade 120, which is a little bit dark for me, but I don't know. Anyhow, um, yeah, see how that goes. Working on it. All right, so I've kind of applied some foundation, but I'm almost out. So there's that factor. So I need to buy some more foundation. Um, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how this works out with little to no foundation. And yes, such, yes. Batman. Quality, quality. Just kidding. My videos have no quality. See that? You just put the spoot on your smoot and you go spoot. Yes, I am very cringy. Thank you for asking that question. I could hear you through the screen. Just gotta. I can only sense what you're going to say. I'm literally beating my face. Just trying to get foundation out. I almost want to break this to get more foundation out. The violence is never the answer. Well, I'm going to try to apply more foundation, and I'll come back to you guys when it's done. Okay, so I've applied as much foundation as I've possibly been able to, which isn't a bad amount, but yeah. Anyhow, now we're going to move on to concealer, because that's how I do. I really need to invest in more expensive concealers. By the way, none of the products I've mentioned sponsor me. Cause nobody would want to. Uh -huh. How are you doing? Babe. Sorry, the lighting angle is really off. And yes, this is my other makeup. I'm gonna do that under there and I'll finish up and then I'll come back and show you before blending and then after blending. Okay, this is the kind of artist I think I am. Yeah, prepare. Just just soak in the cringe. Just soak it in. Soak every bit of it. This is my concealer slash contour and I always forget that this is too much and this kind of concealer doesn't do that well. So, before, and this would be after I blend it. Okay, okay, you better look here. So it's not the world's crabbiest job, but it's definitely like 50% crap. Just 50% just though. Anyhow, now I'm gonna go into it with, um, I don't know if I showed you what that concealer was. It's CoverGirl Clean Concealer as well. And this is Invisible Concealer, it's in the, shade fair then i'm gonna go in with my bronzer which is two-faced and it's chocolate soleil i don't know how to i don't know how to pronounce that 
Um, it's medium matte, it's medium deep matte bronzer. Um, and I like it pretty well. And I will show you once I'm done. Returning to it all. This is me with bronzer, as you can tell more. Here's where it's bronzed. I bronzed my forehead a little bit. Blend it a little more. Anyhow, I'm gonna bronze under my chin too. Just cause. That's that. Now I'm going to be moving on to eyebrows. Okay, now I have a single eyebrow. Let's see if I can brush it a little more. Believe it or not, this isn't that dark. The camera makes it look a lot darker than it is. Uh, there's one eyebrow, which I believe looks pretty freaking awesome. And since I've been growing my eyebrows out, you can actually tell that there are hairs there. Now to work on this eyebrow which I like to call chemotherapy. Don't mean to be offensive at all. It just looks kind of like that. Anyhow, back to work. This is called, oh look, it didn't mess up and the world is ending. Okay, I actually got my other brow to look mostly normal. It might be slightly different from the other brow, but it doesn't look like the back end of a donkey, so. There's that, or the yeah, Aspen ass. <laughs> Either way, it's not horrible now, and I can do any touch ups I need to later. Now I'm going to be moving on to eyeshadow. And I'm probably going to be using my Morphe palette, which I will show you when I get into it. Anyhow, back to eyeshadow. Alright, I'm back after some brow therapy that might or might not have worked. Anyhow, my brows look way worse on the camera than they do in real life. Anyhow, this is my Morphe palette. It's the 35F Morphe, Morphe palette. And for my base coat, first off, I'm going to be going in with this. Or, I don't know. I might go in with something more matte like this. But I'm going to use this to highlight my corners and under my brow. Chuck. Okay, now that I've highlighted my inner corners and under my brow and above my brow, I'm going to go in with this color on this thing right there, right? Like where my eye is. Okay, so that goldish copper color is pretty pigmented and it's probably more of a dirty gold than copper. It is pretty pigmented, but I'm lighter on it because I don't want it to be super bold. Um, Next, I'm going to go with... Hmm, this color, let me see if it's on the right one, it's not, is it, I can't even tell, and yeah, I'm going to be going in with this color right here in my crease. Okay, now that I've applied that color to my crease, I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of this matte red in, right on my outer corner of my eyes. Okay, now that I've finished with my eyes, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in black. I don't know if they have any other colors, but if they do.